Welcome everyone, this is uh, Supreme Judge. Um, today's video is called, What is a Super Gun? Um, a lot of people ask me what a super gun actually is. Um, when they read my profile, it says that I capture my arcade videos via a super gun. Um, here you see, a, this is my super gun that I built myself. Um, as you can see, it has um, all the functions that you need. Uh, your two controller ports. Uh, the two toggles there, uh, one is for uh, the headphone jack and the second is also for the uh, attenuation circuit which uh, brings uh, amplified audio down to line level so that you can plug it into your stereo. Um, the other things that you see on the front there is the two red switches. The one on the left is the service button and the one on the right is a test switch. Um, the service button is basically uh, for when you see arcades and they want to check to see if the game is working they want to add a credit but they won't they don't want it to add to the revenue count of the game uh, so the service button all basically it does is um, it adds a credit to the game but it doesn't count in the revenue bank um, the three knobs you see next to that uh, red green and blue are basically three potentiometers which will adjust the level of color coming into the television set um, red of course is red green is green blue is blue uh, a lot of people think that component video is RGB but component video is not RGB RGB has a lot higher color bandwidth than um, that of component component is basically color difference uh, if I do adjust the red knob you'll see on the TV here that the red totally almost disappears um, if I Put the red back you can see that it all comes back to life um, then I can change to take down the green level which uh, you can see how it comes out like that and, and then finally when I change the blue you can see how the hue changes a lot um, keep in mind in a super gun there's actually an encoder uh, it's an RGB to NTSC uh, encoder which uh, takes the RGB signals and makes it into a proper uh, format that the TV can understand um, via the jacks in the back of the TV. Um, in the back of my super gun you notice that there is from left to right you can see in the top there there's a component video on the bottom there's S video uh, composite as a yellow one. Uh, the red and the white next to that are the stereo left and right channels next to that is an inline fuse uh, and of course there's a power switch. Um, keep in mind uh, the RGB encoders they can come in different varieties. Uh, there's ones with that come with component video, which are roughly about a hundred dollars. Um, with just S video and composite, usually you're looking at about uh, forty dollars, about average. Uh, on the top of my super gun here is something that I added on uh, just to keep track of the heat in there. There's actually a temperature strip, uh, which is used in a variety of things. Uh, it tells me exactly how hot it is inside the super gun. Uh, actually, outside the super gun. I'm sorry. Uh, I did make the super gun out of an aluminum enclosure, um, mostly because of the heat transfer quality. Um, if that heat label reads a pretty high reading, I'm going to know it's really hot in there. But as you can see here, I also have an internal fan uh, that's blowing air out of the holes in the side there. When you do build a super gun, you are going to have to create a custom pinout for uh, custom controllers. Um, my controller here supports, uh, uses a DB15 cable here, as you can see. Um, it supports your jam, regular JAMA pinout, which is only three buttons. Uh, also supports CPS2, which is uh, known as Capcom Street Fighter games, which is uh, three punches, three kicks. Uh, it also supports uh, the Neo Geo pinout, which is uh, four buttons. Uh, on this controller, I actually did something special. I actually added this headphone jack here, as you can see. Uh, one day I was playing my 360, and uh, I thought, why not put this on top of my uh, super gun? So when I'm playing a uh, late night and I want to listen uh, to the actual game I'm playing, I can plug in a uh, headphone into it. Uh, some people think that's overkill because you know you can actually um, just plug in a set of headphones into your uh, stereo to do it that way. Um, I'd rather put everything all on the controller. That was easier for me. Uh, I do use a Saturn controller. Uh, the top two trigger buttons on the left trigger, I use it as a punch times three button, and the right trigger is for my insert coin button and start to start. Um, as you can see here in the front of my super gun, actually, the two left switches I told you about earlier, 
This is the uh, headphone on off switch. That way I can turn the headphone on and off. Uh, next to that is the attenuated um, stereo circuit. Uh, when I do turn on the headphone, I do have to turn off the attenuation circuit. Okay, here you can see is an arcade board. Um, this is the actual JAMA uh, harness, which actually plugs into the JAMA connector that you see in the background there. Uh, the JAMA connector is basically a standardized format uh, for uh, arcade boards. Uh, introduced in 1987, I believe, um, in Japan. Um, it was basically made that way so that uh, op arcade operators had a standardized pinout to follow. Um, this way they can have just like a, a JAMA arcade cabinet and just uh, plug and play any game that's uh, JAMA compatible. Um, before this was introduced, um, there were a lot of arcade games that had really different pinouts from each other. So an arcade operator would have to uh, buy um, those dedicated arcade cabinets. Uh, you remember seeing uh, when you go to the arcades, you remember seeing uh, those uh, dedicated cabinets that were uh, just one game. And then once that one game is out of phased, um, the arcade operator have to sell that game or like destroy it usually. Um, with the JAMA pinout, basically it was easier for the arcade operator to just, um, you know, get rid of the arcade board that was in there, you know, sell it off or trash or whatever they do with it, and then uh, put a new one in there just by plugging it in and then changing the art on top of the cabinet. So to sum up today's video, basically a super gun is basically uh, the internals of an arcade cabinet that would convert the arcade board signal to be able to play onto a normal TV set um, with the controllers and the video output as well as the audio. So it's basically everything that's in an arcade cabinet minus the monitor and the big hunky you know, arcade cabinet. So if you're ever looking to play arcade games um, legally in your home, build yourself a super gun or buy one.